And now, ladies and gentlemen, Acme This Week brings you the Acme News with your news anchor, Travis Oates. This week's top story. Thousands of white ring conservatives gathered all over the nation this week to hold tea parties to protest tax day. Because nothing shows how different you are from the liberal elite, like holding a tea party. <laughs> Next month, to show their opposition to gay marriage, they're putting on a musical. <laughs> I think that's me. In other political news, Republicans said Wednesday that Homeland Security Department intelligence assessments unfairly characterized Vietnam veterans as right-wing extremists. This understandably upset Republicans who have been doing everything they can to get people to refer to veterans as homeless people. <laughs> What I'm looking for, the booze. In, in lighter political news, this week the Obamas got a puppy. Aww. Of course, they're not the first first family to do so. In recent history, Reagan had Rex, Her, uh, George Herbert Walker Bush had Millie, and of course, Clinton got a little pussy. <laughs> and now, while we're on the subject of pets, we go to a special report on the recent Groom and Kennel Dog Expo with our very own leisure and lifestyle correspondent, Randy Bennett. Randy. Hi. Hi, y'all. How you doing, Randy? I am good. Look at you, you big old sexy candy muffin. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> that Antonio Banderas hair. Okay. You got yeah, don't, 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 don't call me that. Okay. You're sexy. It's All right. Big old sugar coated candy treat. That uh, eats you up. Okay. There's a bit here, right? Okay. <laughs> I'll give you a bit. Okay. <laughs> Today's Leisure and Lifestyle segment is dedicated to a new phenomenon called creative grooming. Dog groomers compete in the art of making standard poodles look and feel pretty. Okay. That's if, if they win, they get $1,500 and the right to be on Groomer to Groomer magazine. Oh, I... Love that magazine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's real or not. I don't either. So what I decided to do was show uh, everyone some of the prize winners. Here is our first one. It's Sandy from Sandy Paul's Grooming, and her dog Cindy is a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> yes, that is a dog turned into a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Sneak up behind you, you big old candy turtle. <laughs> I'll put a saddle on your back. Next up is Cindy again. <laughs> next up, are you listening? I am. All right, next up we have Cindy again. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Getting a little too aggressive. All right, All right next up, the Sandy again at the 2005 X Expo with a cockapoodle do. Look at that. <laughs> I don't have any jokes for that. I just like saying cock. <laughs> a poodle do. All right, the next one is uh, Cindy is made up as a camel. <laughs> oh my goodness, how cute is that, right? But good heavens, that's the biggest harem girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I tell you what, the sheep should trade her in for a goat or something. <laughs> Next up, we got Cindy as the buffalo. Look at that. <laughs> oh. You know, Cindy might look more to scale if that squaw weren't so darn big. <laughs> they should change her Indian name to Sitting Cow. Okay. <laughs> it seems you're being a little mean to Sandy the groomer here. Well, I hate that bitch. Okay. <laughs> I went into her and told her, I want you to make me up to look like a peacock. And she said no and went ahead and stole my idea. <laughs> Rick. Randy Bennett, everybody. Come on, Travis, say peacock. I'm please. not going to. Just the cock part. Nope. <laughs> Randy Bennett, everybody. In science news, NASA announced Tuesday that even though comedian Stephen Colbert won an online contest, it won't name a room in the International Space Station after him. Instead, it has put his name on a treadmill. As a fake news personality myself, I considered campaigning NASA to put my name on something, but unfortunately I was told that the space station didn't have a pie cozy. <laughs> In 
legal news, a 28-year-old man was sentenced to three weeks in prison for urinating on a 66-year-old woman during a Continental <laughs> Airlines flight last month. It's, oh. it's true. These are all real. <laughs> I didn't make it up. Continental apologized by saying, this is not the sort of thing you expect when you fly Continental. And really, it's not that bad. I mean, have you ever flown the Asian airline Bukaki Air? <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't get that, talk to somebody who laughed and I'll explain to you later. <laughs> and then ask them why the hell they know that. <laughs> In other legal news, Phil Spector was convicted of murder this week. And here with more on that story is our legal correspondent, Porter Kelly. Porter? <laughs> Good evening. You look lovely. Thank you. How's it you? Thank you. In reacting to the verdict, Spectre's attorney said, we don't believe justice was done. And you know what, Travis, I may be in the minority here, but I tend to agree. Really? I mean, is this the face of a guilty man? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, okay, actually. Well, what about this? Is this the face of a cold-blooded killer? <laughs> That, that actually is the definition of a face of a cold blooded killer. Okay, well, how about this, Travis? Is this the face of a crazy man? <laughs> okay, I will use that one. But does this look like. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. Lively, Looks like the legal system finally got it. All right, Porter Kelly, everybody. science news, according to a new study, women who take birth control pills, especially higher dose versions, may have an increased risk of getting the autoimmune disease lupus. However, a follow-up study showed that women still prefer lupus to condoms. <laughs> <laughs> condoms are icky. That's what I keep telling them. In national news, residents of a northeast Kansas town are mourning the deaths just hours apart of an elderly couple who were married 67 years. This is, this is a real story. Arnita Yingling died in her sleep early Saturday at the family home in Troy at the age of 93. Six hours later, her 95-year-old husband, Lyle, died at a nursing home in a nearby town of Wathena. At their funeral, oh, yes, you may do that. Aww. At their funeral Wednesday, friends and relatives described the two as inseparable, except, of course, when their family separated them right at the end as they were dying. <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> it's our last moments together. I've been going to a salon. <laughs> and now, switching gears to entertainment, his new movie, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, opens May 1st, here to promote its movie star, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Okay. So, thank you, Matt. I'm Travis, actually. All right. Well, have your way, man. All right. All right. Matt, uh, where, where is where is your shirt? I don't wear shirts, man. Well, what what are you gonna wear to the premiere of your new movie, then? You're looking at it, man. Really? <laughs> maybe, I'll, uh, maybe I'll wear a bow tie, a little Chippendale style, man. Ah. <laughs> it's classy. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what projects are you working on next? Oh man, my next role, I play a brain surgeon, man. <laughs> Will you be wearing a shirt for that? Oh man, shirt for surgery, man. Yeah, look sure. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. Surgery is so intense, no time for shirts, man. It's like, I need an operation for stat, man. Oh shit, I'll just work out and do the surgery. <laughs> a lot of doctors do have time for shirts. Oh, not but... this doctor, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> After that, I'm doing a super serious uh, Broadway show, man. Yeah, man. One man show. Man. <laughs> What is the name of that show, he asked? It's going to be called, Hey, Look at My Body. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything more to it than just you coming out on stage shirtless? Oh, or? yeah, man. Oh, I show my range, man. It's like sometimes I'm shirtless in khaki. Okay. Sometimes I'm shirtless in a board short. Sometimes I'm shirtless. I've got a, a, a wetsuit, and I have a top part conveniently rolled down. <laughs> All right. Uh, excellent. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, everybody. <laughs> Finally, who said
says that southern states are not environmental? This week showed the launch of a new product called Season Shot. This is real. It is a biodegradable buckshot that seasons on impact. <laughs> I'm not making this up. It comes in five flavors. <laughs> that is from their website. <laughs> that is from their website. Look it up. <laughs> Cajun, lemon pepper, honey mustard, garlic, and of course, teriyaki. <laughs> The only problem I foresee is that if you're a friend of Dick Cheney's, not only will he probably devour your soul, but it's only a matter of time before you'll reek of honey mustard. <laughs> I'm Travis Oaks. That's all the news. <laughs> Have a good night.